So I am discuss about that how to create a cPanel using for WHM. In this one, just I am logging for WHM panel. WHM means web hosting manager. Web hosting manager. The web hosting manager is called. We can create each domain specific storage. Each domain we can create the specific storage. If anybody asking question interviews, how to create a website space? How to create a cPanel? How to file storage capability? These are all your interview questions. So I am taking for domain how to create a file space, how to create a cPanel, how to create a file storage. These all belongs to for WHM. Any kind of domain authority for give the files so a purpose, the option is called cPanel. The panel is created by the WHM. If you are purchased by shared hosting, they are not provided for WHM. They are provided only for one cPanel access. Please make it down. When you purchase reseller, when you purchase reseller, when purchase reseller, this is called your note. When you purchase reseller, they are providing WHM panel, WHM panel. If you purchase shared hosting, if you purchase shared hosting, they can't provide WHM panel. They can't provide WHM panel. So this is called both information. Any kind of purchase reseller, they provide for the WHM. If you create by any C panel, the option call is create a new account. Once coming to create a new account, here will be coming to your first add your domain name after username, add your password with a strong of 80%. So here I'm writing for password. How much my person will be? 97 percentage. Here. my strong will be too much of strong so after that add your official email address the purpose of you forget, forget any cpanel password etc we can getting for this credential and here your package selection will be two types when you create the cpanel first one automatic package is a common package second one is called go to manual package when you click for manual see this one disk space bandwidth FTP, email account everything will be selected by the manual so i'm not going for manual i can go for automatically in the future if you this static i'm going to future is the dynamic so definitely i can't change the package so i can go with the always unlimited package once select your unlimited package your cpanel theme your language selection apache server activate enable your servers enable your name servers and detect your configuration automatically any configuration they asking for four <laughs> questions automate detect local mail back mail exchange remote mail exchange always read by the automate detect configuration is it clear once select your say panel main important is only for your three credential you know remember always your domain name username and a password once create your cpanel just click for create after creating for cpanel we can log in will be like this southillnews.com slash cpanel just your login once log in your cpanel you can see the total Current users, your IP address, your login IP, entry processor, IP usage, CPU usage, physical memory, this is all. This space, how much? Unlimited. MySQL database, unlimited. Bandwidth, unlimited. If at any time, thousand members come into your site, nothing down. 
one line memory coming to your site, nothing down. Is why we call the bandwidth will be unlimited. The frequency means when coming to traffic on your site, the website can't get it down. Now here, yeah. email accounts, these all belongs to for your cPanel access. cPanel as a fresher, they are using only for three purpose. Only for three purpose. First one, we can check the your file manager. First option. Second option, we can use it for your domain purpose or redirect purpose. Third one, we can use it for email account purpose, creating for email address. Remaining all tasks done by the developers. If you are a developer, you are you are into developers. We can make the site using for free website of open portal. After that, we can build your site in multiple web development script. They are totally providing for 17 modules for make the website. If you are creating any blogs, micro blogs, forums, image gallery, social network, ad management, these all belongs to for your categories for adding on your site this only we can use it for developers who know about the make the website as a development they are understanding by this kind of script these are the preference and these are the advanced this will be software you can use it for make their website purpose this will be security purpose this is called ssl certification if it is not available the website will be not secure with the hosting the cPanel not providing for security option. This is means the web the, the website does not have a SSL certificate, secure socket layer. Next one coming to matrix. This is your bandwidth visitors. The time they are capable by your server people. Next one your track your mail address forwarding and creating by your an extra emails. Everything will be covered by in this option. As your fresher, as your experience, if you're using only for three options, create email account, domain authority, third one will be using for file manager. This is called file backup purpose and upload the new file purpose. Is it clear? This is called you can create a cPanel on particular site.